Well, hello everybody. Um, this is what I've been doing today, winding wool to make this like tin of almost goodies, isn't it? I love it. I love making these little balls for, uh, for my students to learn. So, here we are, we're back again. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. I hope January's been good for you. It hasn't been too bad for me because I managed to get my surgery done. My hands are beginning to heal a bit now. I think the stitches, are, most of them have come out anyway. And I thought I'd come on, say hello, and uh, let you know what I've been doing. Uh, I'm back in school. I'm managing to teach in two, two groups in school. So that's that's wonderful. And um, we've been making, I've got a friend now who's helping me make um, some cord makers, which are uh, the double latch hook look. And um, if you want, if you're wanting to buy the, the, the triple one, um, I'm afraid we haven't got any any uh, made yet, so uh, not to worry, but uh, do get hold of one of these if you can, because I'm teaching how to use this for making crochet with. There's all sorts of things that you can do. Uh, I'm just going to reach over and see some of the um, some of the things that there's possibilities with this craft. And uh, I picked up this the other day. My sister made this, and um, you're not going to believe this. There. There's only two stitches in this piece. You can see the chicks have been made and then uh, I think they've probably been stitched on. And then there's the chicken here at the front. But there's only two stitches. You can see the bridges, the bridges method that I use, chain and slip stitch. And these are the bridges, look, that make up the, uh, the background. So it is possible to make up backgrounds and things for your um for your crochet and uh, even the chicks just learning to make circles and doing something as simple as a chick look and that's quite simple and then a chicken a little bit more tricky but it's still only chain and slip stitch and i think there's a there's another one on top of there that's quite clever so uh, so that's something that you can think about this is not just um not just bracelets and things like that, but you can actually make this into crochet art. Um, I also have here, I've been getting more organised, and so I've got here some um, little packets. So when I teach, it shows you um, what we can do. Here we've got a chain length. So in here, there's just chain length bracelets, which is the very first thing that you need to learn to do is a chain length. And then you can go on. I like to... Um, do plaited ends to, to to bracelets so i teach how to do the ends of the bracelets with a plaited end and what else have we got here two color bracelets so if you're just starting out just use two colors and make a chain with those two colors two two balls of wool that's a handy thing to do and um variegated yarn I do you work with variegated yarn, but you, you, you need to make cut pieces up of the yarn, knot them together with a reef knot in different lengths, and then when you're crocheting it changes colour, and, and it makes it much, much more interesting, I think, especially for beginners. So, uh, yeah, flower ideas. So as soon as you can do your chain, you can start making a flower. And um, I, don't, I don't see any in there, but this, this flowers little flowers that you can make but of course they come on your chain to the flowers so they're very similar in the way we make them so a bridge can just make little bridges but if you could do a petal of course you make it long and come down and long and come down and that would that would make you petals okay so they're the bridges you simply start with the orange a straight chain length with the orange and then you hook in at the end and make a chain of about five or six and then hook in again and then you can make your bridges of course it becomes easier after that because instead of hooking into the chain length you're going to hook, hook under the bridge under the bridge to work your next row so that's all about bridges bridges and petals um what else can i show you of course i have um, talked about my cord, cord maker earlier this one this is my latch hook, in case you haven't seen one before. And this is the double latch hook, which is which has got two latch hooks on, but they're, they're made with the, the needles of a knitting machine. So that's how they're made, if you're wanting to make your own. And um, in here, this one says, um, 
card experiments. So as soon as you get your card maker, you can have a go at making some things like this. I'm, I'm just picking them out of the packet because I've, I've, I've sorted a lot of my things out. And then you can make your flowers with the cord. So it's done exactly the same as using your latch hook, but now you're doing it with the cord cord maker so that's interesting here's a little piece that's just fallen out look that's made been made with a cord hey i don't think i'm gonna make this too long because um um i'm hoping to get to work with some girl guides i'm hoping to work with some um designs in mind maybe get some work done with them and that's for met people with mental health so that would be wonderful and i've already started the, my my school um, latch hook crochet classes as well so um, bye for now and hopefully we'll meet soon and I'll get to go do another video in not too distant future so bye for now okay don't forget to subscribe press the notification button so you know when I've put a video up and um, comment I like to comment because I would like to get back to you and talk to you and I want to know if if you comment on a video i know you've watched it so that would make that that makes such a big difference to me so here's the little chick again not the other one but this one and this one is saying subscribe we're nearly at 600 at the moment and so that'd be fabulous okay bye